Raquel, thank you for holding. My name is Homa. I'll be helping you claim your hundred dollar voucher. I'll call Zara Credit for Quality Assurance. Can I get your name, please? Homa sounds very sad. Yes, Hello? my name. You want my name? It's yes, Jennifer. can I get it's your nice name, please? You, Holma. Thank you. And what's your last name? My last name is Westfield. Okay. What's the address you'd like us to send the voucher to, ma'am? Well, I'm here in West Virginia, dear. I'm sorry? I'm here in West Virginia. Yeah, what's your full mailing address? West Virginia, dear. You can just... Uh, so, yeah, how are you getting this gift voucher or thing to me? So it comes in the mail within two to three business days, but we need a oh, physical address to send okay. it. You need what? We need a physical address to send this out. Uh, so what's your mailing address? Uh, you said you need my mailing address. All right, dear. Four, one one two Lancaster Avenue, Charleston, West Virginia. And what's the zip code? 25304. Is that a house or an apartment? It's my house. Okay, I have your phone number as 838-338-0028. Is that correct, ma'am? Uh, yeah. And do you have an email we can send a confirmation email to? No. Okay, so we are sending you a hundred dollar voucher for Walmart, Target, and over eight hundred retail stores. Along with the hundred dollar voucher, we we'll let you try discounts and savings advantage for a dollar ninety five for fifteen days. With that, you can save up to fifty percent on dining at over four thousand restaurants, online shopping, and much more. If you like the can program, I use this and at you want to see more. It can be used at Walmart, Target, Home Depot gas stations. There are over 800 retail stores. We'll be sending wow. you a list of all the stores. It allows you to spend $100 towards all sense? items in the store. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I can. The only obligation is the one time fee of $1.95. That covers the cost of mailing That's this out to you. Only way you pay this for the phone is a month. What about the superstore there? I'm sorry? What about the superstore? Yeah, you can use it at any store of your choice, ma'am. Oh, right. So for the Even dollar sports check? Time, I'm sorry? Even sports check? Yes, ma'am. There are over 800 retail stores. We'll be sending you a list of all the places where you can use the voucher. Yeah, I bet and that's going to be a pretty big day. list if there's 800 stores there. Wow. Um, your only obligation is the one-time fee of a dollar and ninety-five cents. Yes, that covers yeah, the cost of mailing out. I told you. Fee. I don't care. I'll pay it. So for that, do you want to use your Visa or Mastercard or debit card, ma'am? Uh, well, I can use my Mastercard here. I was more just wondering when this gift thing is gonna expire. The voucher has no expiration date, so it can be used at any time of your choice. It comes in so the mail can, within two to three I can days. keep this forever and pass it down to my grandchildren and they'll be able to use it? It can be used at any time of your choice, ma'am. Does it have to be me? It doesn't have to be you. You could give oh. it to someone, but your name will be on it, though. No, that's alright, that's alright. I guess so, so my grandchildren have to I pretend can. to be Jennifer Westfield. It doesn't have to pretend to be anything. You could just use it with your name on it. That's mm. fine. All right. So for the dollar ninety five cents, when does your MasterCard expire? I don't know. I'd have to grab it there. It's uh, it's on my desk actually under that right there. Um. Yes. Yeah, so where do I need to type this? Is there a website or something? Do I need to go call my bank and make a transfer or something? I where do I go? Or do I have to actually go to I would need to get you set up over the phone, ma'am. A little inconvenient if I had to go to my bank there. Because, you know, with the COVID restrictions and everything, you have to wear masks everywhere. And it's not exactly down the street to my bank, you know. So, is there any I would other need way? to verify the card number, ma'am. What? 
verify the card. I would need to verify the card number. So when does your card expire? Well, I don't have the I don't have the gift card right now, dear. I can't tell you the number. Because the reason why we do go through the major cards is simply because What are you talking you about? You're asking me for the gift card numbers? What? For the dollar ninety five cents, yes. you said you wanted to use your MasterCard. So yes, when does your MasterCard you expire? I want to use my card, but you're not telling me where I. Okay, where I so go. I need to verify. I Do need to verify, verify the card I'm number, ma'am. I'm not gonna tell you my credit card. Uh, I can appreciate you being uncomfortable sharing your card details over the phone. The reason why well, we did deal through the major card. asking for your credit card details over the phone would be trying to scam you. So, dear, where do I, where do I type this in? Nobody is trying to scam you. I know the no why trying to scam you. Where do I type this card. in? Stop, stop being silly, dear. Stop asking you for don't my credit have card to... number. All right, have a great day, ma'am. Nothing will be sent out to you. Oh, that's a shame. What an asshole ruining my day like that. Thank you for calling Grocery Deals. My name is Steve. How may I help you today? Yes, hello there, Steve. Thank you for calling Grocery Deals. How can I help you today? You want to help me? Uh, yes, dear. Thank you for calling Grocery Deals. You are speaking with Jennifer. How can I help you today? <laughs> you got a little confused there. You didn't know what to do. You want to help me? Hi, thank you for holding. My name is Jackie, and I'll be helping you claim your $100 rebate voucher today. All calls are recorded for quality assurance. May I please have your first and your last name? Well, hello there, Jackie. My first name is Jennifer. What's your last name? Westfield. Uh... And please have the full address you'd like us to send the one welcome package to. What? Your full address you'd like us to send the $100 rebate vulture to. What did you say about address, uh, address dear? Your full address. Yes, my uh, address. What do you want about it, dear? What are you on about? <laughs> Good morning, thank you for holding. My name is Tom. I'll be helping you claim your $100 rebate voucher today. All calls are recorded for quality assurance. May I have your first and your last name, please? Yes, dear. My first name is Jennifer and my last name is Westfield. And uh, Jennifer, what's the full address you would like us to send the $100 voucher to? Oh, you could just send it to my house there, 4112. Lancaster Avenue. Mm hmm. Yep. Okay. Go on. Did you not get my house there? Well, all I got is um, the street and the address number. What else? What? You asked for my street address, and I gave you my street a address there, Tom. Yeah, but I have no idea what city you live in, what state you live in, what your zip code is. <laughs> Dear, maybe you should ask me those questions, then. I asked you for your full address. I did. <laughs> yes, my full address. 4112 Lancaster Avenue. <laughs> That's not the That's entire not my... address. <laughs> that is my entire home address, yes. You should ask what city yeah, I have no state idea I live in, and then I tell you that. Okay, you take care. You have a great what day. What did you say that, Tom? <laughs> oh, he did not want to talk for me, to me for long. Yeah, I will be memory. helping you claim a hundred dollar reward. All calls are being recorded for quality assurance. And please get your first and last name. Oh, hello there, Angie. It's nice to meet you. You too. So, um, like I said, I, I, oh, what is your Angie first and last name? Me. Yes, my first name is Gregory, Angie. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Gregory. And what's your last name? Oh, yes, my last name is Johnson. Okay, and what is the address that we'd be sending the $100 reward to? 
Well, you could just send it to my my house here in West Virginia. Which is, what is the address? Oh, you, yes, you knew my address, of course, silly me. Uh, 4112. Oh, okay. Uh, Lancaster Avenue, Charleston, West Virginia, dear. And your zip code. Have you ever been here before? It's quite a nice place. It's 25304. Unfortunately, no, I haven't, sir. No, I'm no traveling allowed right now, so yeah. Yeah, I think not. anyone really would, would want to travel now. It's a, it's a little dangerous out there. <laughs> People are doing it. People are doing it. Yes, you doing know, all the time. risky people are, are going going out and, and risking their lives with that piece of paper on their face, hoping it'll hoping it'll protect them. Well, it will protect them, but it's not the safest thing. No, you're it's not, still no, it's not. It's not protecting them. It's not protecting them. It's protecting the people around them, sir. Never. You're wearing a mask is not protecting yourself. You are protecting anybody from getting the virus if you have it. It does not protect you. That's, um, that is not what the doctors yes, it say. Does. The doctors it say protects that you. if you wear a mask. If everyone if wears you wear a, mask, a mask, then of course it protects you. Everyone has to wear one. Yeah, you, you're protecting those, well, like yes, when you're wearing a mask. I'm protecting me by wearing a mask, and I'm protecting all of the others around me. If you're trying to tell me that a mask does nothing, uh, then that's that's very silly of you, dear. Uh, are you an anti-mask no, person? No, I'm just the, doc the doctors. No, no, I wear one all the time. Oh, I wear I gloves, too. So. I'm going to get my vaccine on Thursday, so, oh, yeah. You're going to get your vaccine. I, I, you know, I was considering getting one of those, but I didn't I didn't really want to risk it here because you, they're saying there's new strains of it and different types of it every day, so I don't yeah, really but I mean, yeah, know well, what I, one yeah, vaccine I that, would really do against a bunch of types. It'll protect you from at least what this made. Certainly, it's going to protect you from something. It's not going to hurt you in any way. It's going to protect you. It may not protect you from the new strains, I've but I've been seeing a lot of funnies on the funny, funny things. I don't know what you call them, but I like to call them little funnies on the internet. There about about this coronavirus thing. There's quite quite a little stir going on on the internet about it. It's quite well, yeah, funny. but I don't think I don't think it's, I don't think it's anything to laugh about at all, sir. People are losing their lives. Obviously, you know I've got a dad. My father's in but his you don't like me. Everyone has had a family member, even me. My 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 uh, grandfather there died from coronavirus. Everyone has lost family to this. All I right. don't think anyone hasn't. Mm -hmm. Well, Angie, and, um, it was nice talking to you. I I doubt you really remember me from any of those call, phone calls there, but I've spoken to you many times before, Angie. You don't remember Gregory, huh? Well, let's see I next time if you remember me. Next time, maybe you will. Maybe you won't. Ooh, you never know. It's sad, Angie. I see you every single day scamming. <laughs> what a pathetic little piece of shit. Typical, typical. Angie's calling Steven. How can I help you? Hello, dear. Hello? Yes, hello there, Steve. Was that Steve from earlier trying to do a little, a little woman voice there? That was cute. Thank you for calling Grocery Deals. My name is Steve. How may I help you today? Hello there, Steve. Thank you for calling Grocery Deals. How can I help you today? Oh, what a shame. Those Grocery Deals scammers are quite funny to talk to. It's a shame they... I'm starting to hang up so quickly now.